Hello. Thank you for joining me today as we look at Google Classroom and how to turn in our assignments. Okay, turning in the assignments is pretty important because if the students don't do that last step to actually click a turn in button or the mark is done button, then the teacher has no, um, no notification that shows up to let them know. And that this that the work is finished and the students um, you know the status in Google Classroom will never change off of that it was assigned or if the due date is passed that it's missing so it is really really important that the students make sure they do that one last step once they finish their work they've got to click that turn in button or they've got to click mark is done and so today we're going to walk through that process so that we can see how exactly that happens all right so on your screen, you're seeing Infinite Campus. Um, I always like to start here because this is an important piece. This really is the main place students need to get just in the habit of doing so that they know um, where to go to get to their textbooks, their digital learning resources, and their online educational tools. Okay, so everything kind of starts here at Infinite Campus and here in our message center. All right. <clears throat> So we're here, we're at our student launch pad from our message center, and we're going to use two fingers on our mouse pad, and we're going to move those fingers, and it's going to move our screen, and we're going to scroll down past this. Remember, this is our textbooks and our digital learning resources. We need to go past those for right now, and we're going to go to Google G Suite for Education. Now that we're here, we're going to click on Google Classroom. Okay, so just a quick word, um, your student will not have this many Google Classrooms available to them. Okay, this is just here because of the account that I'm using for our video today. So please don't let this be something that stresses you out or worries you. Your student will not have this many Google Classrooms available to them. Okay, so look, we're focusing our video on Ms. K's practice class because this is the class I know that we need to do some work for. As a matter of fact, we see we've got some assignments right here that are showing up right away that tell us we've got some stuff due. I have this one that needs to happen today and I have this one that's due tomorrow. Okay, so I'm actually going to click on Ms. K's practice class so I can go into my classroom. Okay, so and then I'm going to click on the classwork tab. So if we take this and we think about what this would look like in a traditional classroom. Okay, this is a student is sitting in class and these are all the different assignments, the different pieces of paper that a teacher may have given to the students throughout the course of a school year. Okay, so that's basically what we're looking at right now. Okay, so for our purposes today, we are actually going to, the first one I want to model for you is something that is just where the student needs to read it and mark it as done. Okay, so we're going to click on this lesson and notice that this is a PDF, okay, and it says open the attached document to learn more about point of view. There's nothing I need to do, there's nothing I need to write on or interact with, I just need to read the information. Okay, it is a very good habit for the students to develop to make sure that they click view assignment. And I say that because this is the view that's going to get them the important button that they need to have, which is right here. It's either going to say mark is done or it's going to say turn in. Okay, so we're going to open our PDF. We're going to read our information because we can see it's just stuff that we need to read. Okay, once we've done that, then we need to make sure that we click back up here in our tab or click our back arrow. So we've read our information. So we need to let the teacher know that it's finished. So the way that we do that is we click Mark is done. Now Google is always going to want to confirm, are you sure you really want to say that it's done? Okay, and we're going to say yes. We're going to say it's done. Okay, so a couple of things happen now. All right, it says that it was turned in. Okay, we turned it in late because it was missing and that was because the due date had already passed. You can see it was actually due back, you know, February of last year. All right, so we're a little late getting this assignment done, but it's okay. And um, we did not attach anything, which is okay because we didn't have to, right? Our assignment says we just need to read it. So we marked it as done. The teacher got an email that says that her student has finished her work. Okay, 
All right, so that's one way to turn in our assignments. So we're going to click back on Ms. K's practice class. We're going to click on the classwork, and we're going to look at a different way to turn in work. So I'm going to come down here to this characteristics of organisms assignment. Okay, so notice that this assignment is due today. So we're going to click on the words, and we have our directions, and we have our file. We could just click on the file from here, but we don't want to do that. We're going to actually click, because remember, it's a good habit to do. We're going to click View Assignment. Okay. Remember why this is a good habit to do? Because now we have this nice button that's super important for making sure that we get our classwork turned in. All right. So this is our Characteristics of Organisms Assignment. A couple of pieces of information that we can see here. We have our directions. We know that it's due today. This is our file that we have to actually click to open for our teacher. Okay, and notice that my status is that it's assigned. Okay, so I know that it's been assigned by my teacher um, and I know that it's due today. I haven't actually done anything with it yet as a student. Okay, in order to do something, I need to click on the assignment. Okay, and so notice that it has. Um, you know, it has my name already attached to it, and it has the file name already done for me, okay? So remember that anything that a teacher assigns that is done in a Google tool, like Google Docs, which is this one, any work that I do is going to automatically be saved, okay? So it says here, um, there was an edit here 26 minutes ago, okay? The other thing that I want to point out about anything that is done in Google Docs, and I'm pointing at this blue icons because they, you know, anything that has this picture is going to be a Google Doc. Okay. If it's done in this tool, then I have a nice handy turn in button right here on my screen. Okay. So we're going to click on uh, one of the things that's here. And we're going to open that information. Okay, so this is reading that I need to do. Okay, so then I'm going to come back and I've done my work that I needed to do for this assignment. So now I'm going to click turn in. Okay, so what you'll notice is when I click turn in, it opened another tab up here at the top of the screen. And it says, are you sure you want to turn in your work? And I'm going to say, yes, I want to turn it in. Okay, so what happens once I turn in my work is that notice my status now has changed to turn in and my teacher is getting an email that tells her, hey, this student has turned in their work. So now my teacher knows that they can go ahead and go in and grade my assignment. Okay, just very quickly, if I'm talking about grades, I want to make sure that we're very clear the grades that you might see in Google Classroom are not the same grades that show up on a student's report card. Okay, Th that's different. Google Classroom is just a, a good way to kind of have a feel for what your student's doing and how their grades are coming along. But the actual grade that goes in the report card, that's found in Infinite Campus underneath the grades button. Okay, so just want to take a moment to make sure we're very clear on that. All right, so we have gone into a Google Doc that was an assignment and Google Docs is nice to us because it gives us that little turn in button and then we can click turn in and now we see that it's turned in and my teacher got an email so she knows that I've done my work. Okay, so there's one other way that we can turn in our assignments. So far we've looked at marking it as done if it's just something we need to read and not really anything we need to do anything with. And we've looked at how to turn in a Google Doc assignment. It's very nice because we get that little button that's in the doc itself. The next thing that we're going to do, though, is we're going to look at how to turn in other types of assignments. So now we're going to look at our vowel sounds assignment that's down here at the bottom. We notice that it's due tomorrow. So we're going to click on this. Okay, and notice that this one is done in Google Slides. Okay, so we're going to click on our assignment, and here is our work. So we have our assignment, we have a page that has directions that are translated into some different languages, and here are our directions, and then here is our actual assignment. Okay, so we're, our, we are going to 
look at this short a sound okay and so we have to write any words with the short a sound well for for my purposes today uh, just so it for it's quicker we're going to actually put a box around anything that has that short a sound so i'm going to grab a, a shape and i'm going to draw my box okay and then um, if the box is white so that's why the cat went away so i'm going to get rid of what's inside the box and now i have a box around my cat so that short a sound um, i think the bag also has that so i'm going to grab my shape again draw my box get rid of the white that's inside the box and now i have my box okay so i've done my work all right notice now there is no button up here that says turn in okay so what that means is and this is this is why this is such an important piece because there's just one more step that the student has to do okay so they've done their work the, it's saved last ed edit was seconds ago it automatically saved this work in the student's google drive okay but they've got to turn it in otherwise the teacher doesn't know that it's finished okay so we're going to come back we've got to click on the tab that says classwork so we're going to click on this tab we've got to be in that view assignment see i've told you we've got to we want to be in the habit of coming here right so that we can get to this turn in button so i finished my work and i'm ready to turn it in so i can click turn in okay it's going to confirm are you sure you want to do that yes i do and there we go okay so my assignment is done i've turned it in and it's ready to go for my teacher now I kind of want to point something out. Maybe a student realizes, oh, I was supposed to do more than that. I didn't get everything done that I needed to do. And they come back to their file. So I'm just going to click here, okay? And I want to do some more work on here. So I'm going to click on different pieces, but now I can't change anything. So I have to make sure that I unsubmit it, okay? If I've turned it in, that changes the, the, um, the permissions for my file and I won't be able to edit it anymore. So what I want to do is I want to click on submit. That gives the ownership back to me so now I can make my changes. So now that I've unsubmitted, see that was my where my access had expired because I had turned it in. But now I can do some more work because I think, oh, you know what? I think this one also has that short A sound. So I'm going to grab my shape and my box and I'm going to put a box around it. And then I'm going to make sure I get rid of the white that's inside, and now I have a box. Okay, so I'm finished. I'm confident, I'm good, I'm ready to go. And so am I done? No, I'm not, because I have to come back to this tab and I have to click Turn In again, okay? So super important, um, it's just like that last step to make absolutely sure that the work is finished. As a parent, you can come in to the student's work in their practice class and on their classwork tab, you can click on view your work and it will show the status. So you can quickly and easily see, okay, yes, that assignment was turned in. Yes, that assignment was turned in. So this one says it was assigned. What's going on with this? And you can talk with your student about that. Okay, students, older students, this is a place you can go to track to make sure that you're keeping up with your work and that things are showing that they're turned in once you've clicked the button. Okay, so that is it for our video today. So we've looked at three different ways to turn in assignments. Okay, so I'm going to come back to Miss Kay's practice class and our classwork. Remember one of the ways to turn in assignments, if it's just something that we have to read and we don't really have to do anything with as far as turning it back in or anything like that, then we wanna click our view assignment. We can click on our file. And then over here, let me unsubmit this very quickly. It's gonna say mark is done, okay? So we wanna do that, right? You've gotta take this last step. The other way, the other type of assignment is a Google Doc. So I'm gonna come down here in my classwork. I'm gonna open one that is a Google Doc. So remember with Google Docs, we have that button that tells us turn in. Now I've already turned in this assignment, so my button went away. 
okay? So to get that button back, I would have to click View Assignment. I would have to unsubmit. Okay, now I can refresh my screen here and I should have my turn in button back. Okay, so now I can do whatever other work I need to do and here's my button. All right, so the, that was the second way to turn in, okay, is from a Google Doc. You can actually click the button right here in Docs. Okay, so the third way is if it is a file that is not a Google Doc, but it is still something that needs to be turned in. Okay, and the example I'm going to give you is in um, Google Slides. Okay, there's a lot of other types of files that will behave this way, but our example is Google Slides. So remember when we do this one, we, we're going to click View Assignment. I have to unsubmit it so I can show you. When we click on our Google Slide, we come out to our slide, we do our work, and then we have to come back to Google Classroom. I'm going to close this so we're not confused. We have to come back to Google Classroom and we have to click this Turn In button. Okay, and then confirm, yes, you want to turn it in. All right, so very, 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 very important piece to doing assignments online is just find that Turn In button. If it is in Google Classroom, you know, or if it's in um, the actual document itself, wherever it is, make sure that the student finds that button and clicks Turn In or Mark is Done. All right, that's it for our video today. Thank you very much for joining me.